Hi, everyone. So first, a uh, brief introduction. I'm a program manager within the SharePoint customer engineering organization at Microsoft, and I help our customers be successful with our technology. Today, I'm really excited to be here to be talking to you about the newly launched SharePoint success site. This is a new tool for you in your tool belt to be able to help users better adopt SharePoint and uh, to create amazing SharePoint sites. So what I'm going to cover today is just a brief overview of what the SharePoint success site is. So bear with me for a couple slides, then I'll um, quickly move into a demo to uh, to show you the, the, the site. And then we can talk or I'll point you to how to get it and how to get going in terms of implementing the SharePoint success site. All right, so first let me talk a little bit about who this is built for and how it will help them. There's two personas, the first being an admin or the service owner of SharePoint or more broadly speaking collaboration in an organization, as well as, of course, users or more specifically in some cases, site owners. So let's talk about the SharePoint service owner and what this success site will help them with. We've um, spoken to a lot of customers, a lot of service owners and heard some pretty consistent themes in terms of where they wanted some help to help drive adoption of SharePoint in their organization. So that's what we're focused on here, helping the SharePoint service owner realize more value from the investments that they've made in SharePoint to help them enable employees and users to create sites that are purposeful, uh, that are used by others, that are high quality, as well as being compliant with whatever site usage policies might be in place within the organization. So that's really the, the service owner. And then in terms of users and or site owners specifically, it's to address those two questions you can see at the bottom of the slide. Why should I even bother using SharePoint? What's it good for? How can it help me accomplish my goals? And then how do I create amazing SharePoint sites to achieve my, my goals? So that's where the SharePoint success site comes into play. It's a ready to implement up-to-date customizable SharePoint online site that helps organizations drive adoption and realize value from SharePoint online. This is a solution that does require Microsoft 365 learning pathways as a prerequisite. So you have to have that installed first to be able to use the SharePoint success site. For those of you that don't know what learning pathways is, it's a site that we implemented or made available probably uh, more than a year ago now, and it's essentially a solution that helps organizations train their end users on Office 365, all the apps and services. And so we've got training in that not only covers SharePoint at a very high level, I would say level 100, but all the apps and services, Teams, OneDrive, Yammer, the Office app, so on and so forth. So why did we build a success site when we already have learning pathways? Well, we did hear from customers that they wanted something that goes deeper than what learning pathways provides. Learning pathways for SharePoint specifically, it's in, you know very intended to be high level um, and then to target site owners more specifically, that's where we created this SharePoint success site. So we go uh, deeper in terms of uh, creating SharePoint sites and solutions, I would say probably about level 200, level 300 as well. We also talk about the why and the what, how to create great sites, like putting the technology aside in how to um, configure a site, a page, but what makes a great SharePoint site? Um, so that's really the focus of the SharePoint success site. And a couple of things just to point out, what I think makes uh, the SharePoint success site something that you should consider as, as part of your set of tools to, to use is it offers training on what makes a great site and how to build it in SharePoint online. It's using the content that we have available on support.office.com and docs.microsoft, but we're bringing it into your tenant so that you can customize that training content to suit your environment, how you've implemented SharePoint, and at the same time benefit from the Microsoft curated and maintained content side by side with whatever uh, custom content you may need for, for your implementation. A second on how it all works, if you've seen Learning Pathways, it's very similar 
So the content on the left-hand side uh, that's available within support and docs, we bring that into a GitHub content repository. It's always, you know, uh, we, we keep that up to date as new features are released. And we bring that into your SharePoint success site, which you've installed, hopefully within your, your tenant via the Learning Pathways custom web part. And so the success site is just a new content set that's available within the Learning Pathways web part, which is how we bring it into your site and how at least the Microsoft curated content remains up to date. And don't forget, uh, very important, I'm stressing it a couple times here, you obviously need an app catalog in your tenant and you need version four or higher of Learning Pathways. Okay, so let's take a look at the site. I'm gonna do a quick demo. So I'm an end user. I've just been assigned responsibility of creating a SharePoint site for my department and I work in marketing. And so I've been directed to the SharePoint success site here to get started, to learn what's possible, to learn how to create a SharePoint success site and do it within the, the guidelines uh, that my organization has set. Uh, so we're here on the home page. Lots of things I can do from here, um, and I'm going to go into some of these sections in more detail, but I can get inspired, learn what is possible, plan my site, launch, uh, build my site, launch and manage my site, ask questions. You can see this comes pre-configured with the people web part. So if there's an intranet team at your organization, having them listed as contacts is obviously going to be helpful. And then we do suggest bringing in a Yammer conversation web part where that community in Yammer is set up for your site owners or end users for, for SharePoint. So this is where they can come and ask questions, uh, share successes, share insights, that sort of thing. But let's get inspired. So a lot of the times uh, for people who are new to SharePoint, they're not sure what they could use it for. So that's what this section is all about, to, to give them that inspiration. And you can see we've got the, the web part here, so um, I can easily navigate going from one asset in the playlist to another. I can also use the drop down here to, to jump ahead. But on this, this uh, main page here, I've got examples of different ways that I can use SharePoint. So if I'm in marketing, I can do a product launch. Um, I can set up a new employee onboarding site, um, so on and so forth. And, you know, over time, we do hope to, to add to this. But as I click into these, let's say, as I'm a marketing manager, I want to learn how to use SharePoint or un better understand how I could use SharePoint uh, to set up an internal product launch site. I'm launching a new product, a new widget, and I want to get everyone in the company excited about that and um, able to be evangelists for me, both inside the organization and outside. Um, so making sure that they know about the, the new product. So this is going to walk me through how I can create that site um, and what might be some common goals for a site like this. But it gets into detail on what it looks like to plan, um, to build the site, to manage it. Um, so we have content like this across four different scenarios. In addition to that, we've got this success stories section, which we encourage you to set up as a way of profiling what people in your organization are doing with SharePoint as another source of inspiration to highlight those success stories. You know, you can see here we've got a sample example of how HR has built a new employee onboarding site using SharePoint kind of as an internal case study. OK, so I'm excited. I'm now ready to get started in building my site. I'm going to start with what I have to do from a, a planning perspective. So these are all the different playlists. I can dive into those to learn about different SharePoint site types. Um, and, uh, and go from there. So now that I've got my site planned, there, there are other playlists just to, to call out here, I think, that are a little bit more about planning. I can learn about the the different components that go into a, into a site. I can build my site or learn how to build my site, so creating and customizing the site. One thing to keep in mind as I go through this pre-configured training content is it's fully customizable using the Learning Pathways web part, which I'll show you in just a moment. Makes it super simple to copy existing playlists over and then just delete the assets that don't apply. 
and add your own assets, which are really SharePoint pages at the end of the day that get organized into this playlist so that you can map the training content to your environment. We know, obviously, some customers uh, have implemented SharePoint in, in the way that sites can be requested or created in maybe a, a specific way for their organization. So that might be an area of customization you want to consider, but you can see this content is rich in, in, in graphics as well as there's lots of video used throughout the site. So this uh, walks me through how to create a site or how to build it. Then I can go through launching and managing the site. And then finally, if I want to do something special for my site beyond the, the basic, uh, I can get into some of the more advanced site creation capabilities like making the site personal, using audience targeting, lots of uh, uh, ways to enhance my, my site. The last thing I'll show you from an end user perspective here is you know, we know it's important for site owners that you may have a set of usage guidelines, uh, compliance that that or uh, governance policies that you want people to your users to follow when creating a site. So we do provide a sample of what some of those guidelines could be. This is purely for example purposes. Uh, we would expect each organization is going to have their own set of usage guidelines. So we've got a link here to a document, a uh, public document here that can help you in writing your your site usage guidelines that includes some guidance, some sample text, uh, some resources to help you figure out what's best in terms of your specific guidelines. So that's an end user view. I'm up against the clock here. I'm going to have to speed things up. I apologize, but let me just jump into a couple things very quickly. Let me show you how to customize this. So I come to the administration. Um, I just select the gear here. This is going to take me into the learning pathways uh, admin section. So you can see here we've got uh, the admin for learning pathways and then just to the right of it, the SharePoint success site. This is the new content set that once you install the success site uh, will be available. Um, and from here I can hide, I can create net new uh, playlists um, or copy and then edit existing playlists to suit my needs. Won't be able to go into that, unfortunately, but the last thing I wanted to show you here that provides all the information that you need to learn how to install, how to customize. Um, let me first show you where you can find it. It's up on the lookbook, go into solutions. It's the last one here in the list, the SharePoint success site. From here, we've got a video on how to provision the site. This is starring Julie Turner, who was gracious enough to create that. But then I can go into our docs to read about what the site is all about, how to how to install it, and then how to how to customize the the site as well. Okay, so um, hopefully I uh, piqued your interest to learn more. Come check out these uh, docs pages. Uh, go to Lookbook, maybe install it, play around with it, and. Uh, uh, customize it to suit your needs and, and hopefully it's something that you can see uh, adding value and a place to send your end users or new site owners as a beginning point for their site creation journey to arm them with what they need uh, to create a uh, high quality and successful site. So that's it for me. Thank you. Thank you, Matt. Thank you. And let me say that I'm really happy to see that the Lookbook site is providing uh, many more content uh, and samples available for free to the whole community because it's the way uh, we can improve uh, and increase the quality of all of the solution uh, provided on top of Microsoft 365.